Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to do the single color pomegranate. Decide where you want the center of your spiral to be. Give it a little pinch, and for this one I'm using the microwave splatter guard that I got off of Amazon, and I do have a link for it down below in the description box, along with everything else that I use for tie-dye, so go ahead and check that out. Then you want to clamp your hemostat down on the first click and begin to twist your spiral. And if you notice, I'm using my opposite hand to create the pleats in the shirt. Once you've gone as far as you can go with the splatter guard, unclick your hemostat and gently wiggle it out. You want to make sure you hold down the center of your spiral with the opposite hand, otherwise you'll pull the entire spiral with you. And then I like to secure my spirals by using rubber bands. Now I like to create a nice tight spiral. So I pull on the loose tails and tuck them into the nearest rubber band. I want to report that we're over 900 members in the Facebook group now and that is so exciting. So if you haven't joined the Facebook group, there is a link for it down below in the description box. It's right underneath the Etsy link. I have other social media links down there, but the actual Facebook group is just right there. Click on that link and come on over and join the Facebook group. There are a lot of great people in there and if you're new to tie dyeing and you have questions, there are many people that can help you out uh, besides myself, you know, that have been tie-dyeing for a while, and it's just a great source of information. And there are also a lot of other great tie-dye groups that I'm also involved in on Facebook. So it's a great resource, so I highly recommend you check that out. Using a washable marker, I mark out my pattern. Now it's time for the fun part, we get to add the dye. And as I stated in the beginning, this is the single color pomegranate. This tutorial will be going into the playlist of the Dharma's dye swatches. And if you haven't checked that out, I highly recommend that you see that playlist. I'm only up to the reds, but it's a very valuable tool. And I'll tell you guys, I have been learning a lot by doing these single color dyes. When you do them in liquid, they look a certain way, and when you do them in ice dyeing, they look completely different. And when you do ice dyeing and you're using a whole bunch of colors, you don't really see the color splits. And some of these colors have some beautiful color splits. So like I said, check out that playlist. Grab a mask and give the dye area a quick little sprinkle of soda ash. And I have found that if I add the ice to the white part before I add it to the, where the dye is, it doesn't knock the dye off and go into the white. And so I sort of backfill where the dye is. Try that next time you do one of these single color dyes. If you use these foil trays from the dollar store like I do, make sure you place them down inside of a tote and then batch for 48 hours after the ice melts. It's been about three days since the ice has melted and now it's time for the rinse out. You wanna start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fibers. At 72 hours, there probably is nothing going on anymore, uh, dye and soda ash reaction, 
but you still want to go through the motions. You do not want any of that red dye redepositing onto the white in the washing machine. Then you want to increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here I take it to the washing machine and I do however many hot water cycles using Kirillon that it takes. For this particular shirt it was two cycles and how I know is I take a little plastic cup and I scoop up the hot water and when that water is clear I know that I'm ready for my final wash. And in my final hot water wash I use Millsoft. Millsoft brings softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. And with these Gildan shirts as stiff and scratchy as they are, it really is nice. Um, it's also great if you do dyeing with rayon, because uh, rayon comes out feeling pretty stiff. You put that Millsoft in there and it's like a miracle. Then I put it into the dryer and I iron it and we will come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our single color pomegranate ice dye going into the Dharma Dye Swatches playlist and I think it turned out great. Pomegranate really is a pretty color. It does sort of have like a pinkish hue to the red like a pomegranate and it's very pretty and it does have some nice color splits, a nice sort of dark orange. Um, there isn't a lot of it on this shirt. Unfortunately, I should have made the pie piece a little bit bigger but I still love the shirt. I think it looks great. And if you guys haven't done any of these single color dyes for yourself yet, I highly recommend it because they're actually very beautiful. Um, and take note of how white the white actually is. Um, you know, using professional textile detergent is important. You know, we spend a lot of money on this tie dye hobby. You know, there's no reason to cut corners at the final stretch. Yeah, a lot of people use Dawn and they can get away with it and it's fine. Um, it's just something that I choose not to do. So you see how it has some of those really nice deep orange splits and that it also breaks down into a nice light pink. And here is the liquid dye swatch so that way you can see what liquid dye looks like and ice dyeing. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.